First off, I'd just like to congratulate Hartford on their outstanding season. Um, to come in with their record, um, it's really unbelievable. They've had a great season um, and had a tremendous amount of success. Um, and just hats off to them. Uh, they've done a lot of great things. And uh, the score is a little bit different than we expected it to be. Um, and just because of the respect that we have for them. Um, but just extremely proud of our girls, especially the second half. I thought that first half we came out with great energy. We just weren't quite playing with the um, efficiency and the execution that we wanted. Um, and then we kind of hit it with making shots and then we kind of hit a dry spell late, but did a great job coming out second half, focused, uh, scored 30 points the first half and 29 points the third quarter. Um, so that's, that's, that was, really, really good to see that kind of bounce back um, and their just application about what we talked talked about at halftime. First half, um, I thought we were a little bit passive offensively. Well, passive off the dribble. Everything that we normally do is um, off the bounce and we want to attack. Um, the first half we shot 22 threes, so I thought we were settling a little bit more than we would like to. You're up five at 37, 32, and then you score 27, 20 and then 24 points to really take control of this game. What what started clicking and, and working in your guys' favor? I mean, it's so, it sounds so simple and so cliche. It's a boring answer, but we were making shots. Like I said, I thought we were playing with great energy, um, and may, maybe we just settled into the game a little bit and, you know, kind of kind of started rolling a little bit. You, you say you're surprised at the score, but, I mean, it, doesn't that maybe attribute to your defense to hold them to a – to a season over there? Absolutely. We've, we've prided ourselves on the defensive end all year long. Um, Hartford has just scored so many points. I think they were averaging like 92 or 93 a game. And so um, we were able to control the tempo a little bit uh, more than I maybe anticipated that we would with, with our defensive pressure. For either of the players, what from being on the court, what got you guys kick-started there third quarter really, really helped you guys take control? I think just having energy, our bench had energy, um, everyone on the floor had energy, and we started making shots, everyone started cheering for each other, and that just motivated us to just keep going. For, for any, either of y'all, what, uh, what's it like for the team to see Caroline get back and play the way she did today? It's amazing having a point guard um, who executes and gets us all shots and having her out it was a little rough for us at first and now that she's back and seeing her go off like that it's it's a blessing in disguise and she's just she's a great player great teammate and having her back really kickstarts the whole team what did girls what did y'all think of the uh <clears throat> the fact that harford had scored 109 times this year that averaged in the 90s did that have your attention or what were y'all how, how well do you feel like y'all executed defensively against them? We knew we had to come out and play like hard. They were coming for us as well. They wanted to win just as much as we did. So we knew we had to come out with energy, execute, make shots, because they were going to do the same thing as well. One thing that we've stressed all year long um, while we're prepared for the other team and we know what they do, the most important thing is to control what we can control and what we do. We have um, not necessarily rules, but more like standards and expectations of what we do on the defensive end. And um, if everyone does their job, um, it, it works out for us. And I, and I thought that we did a great job of just doing those little possessions, those little details um, to the best that we possibly could. I'm gonna Chantel, since you're one of the few players who were here last year, how much, how enjoyable has this season been with basically a, nearly a whole new team? It's been great, it's been so much fun. Um, building new bonds, <laughs> chemistry, it's been great. Um, they've been able to fulfill roles that we didn't have last year, and this year just, so much better. Everyone plays together. We all get along on and off the court, and it's fun to win. I'd like to say something about Chantel. Um, you know, she played 35, 36 minutes a game last year as a freshman. Um, with our depth this year, um, she took on a little bit more of a different role early in the season. Um, human nature would have been to kind of pout, maybe not bring quite the energy to go down a different 
you know, path than she chose, and that's just a credit to her character. So I couldn't be more proud of her as a basketball player, but most importantly as a person, um, just what she means to our team. And so just the feel-good aspect of it, it's unbelievable for me to see her come out and have success. Um, I thought both of these two, we were, Rose spoke about when Caroline went out, that it kind of affected us as a team. I thought these two really, really stepped up, maybe not in a in a scoring way every game, but they really, really, you know, brought leadership, uh, brought poise, and then just that defensive pressure. It's kind of a dumb question, but I noticed like uh, Gabby and Sarah and maybe some of the others, your hairstyles are different. Uh, Story. Story about that. Um, <laughs> we're a team of different personalities and <laughs> you know we always have our hair done and I think that going into this tournament our focus wasn't hair it wasn't anything off the court it was basketball and basketball only and we have Says the person <laughs> that asked me before the game, Coach, should I wear a bun or a poof? <laughs> I swear, she asked me that question about three minutes before we went out. And I was like, really, Rue? <laughs> and I think any hairstyle we go out with, like, we're going to ball. And so I think everybody came in here really focused on just winning and doing the best we can rather than, you know, braiding our hair at 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> One of our challenges all year, I thought, has been um, rebounding, and so really, really pleased. And I think rebounding is a, a mental stat, but uh, 48 to 29, just a lot of effort on the glass. You know, that was that's been a focus all year. Um, and then to come out and only have six turnovers the second half was really, really good. Could be a you know determining factor in kind of helping us um, be a little more efficient, as we've said. Uh, the schedule now. You, obviously, you can't control it, but uh, would you prefer to play Seward at the regular time, or do you like that you have a day, an extra day now to prepare for that? Um, obviously, any time we can rest, any time that we can go back and get ice baths, get shots up. We're we're very much a prep team, so you know we're sure not going to pl complain about it. But um, like I said, we're we very much prided ourselves all year long on controlling things we can control, and we're honestly so happy to be here that we play at midnight if they ask us to. So um, to answer your question, yes, that's 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 a little bit better. But then you could look at it a little bit differently, playing a noon game versus a, was it going to be an 8 o'clock game or a 6 o'clock game? Just a little bit different mindset, approach to your day, but. Um, Blessed to be here. Yep. Good. Thank you. Thank you.